Yeah, coming to 28th question. Sin square 5x plus x plus sin square lambda is equal to 1. Then what is the value of lambda? See, uh, in the previous problems, we have learned a beautiful trick. That is, we know already trigonometric identity 1. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. But we all we can conclude one thing from the previous experience of pre previous problems such that sin square alpha plus sin square beta is also equal to 1 if alpha and beta are complementary. And the if beta and the 90 minus alpha as square alpha. That means if alpha plus beta is equal to 90, that means if alpha and beta are complementary. Then this also holds good. Sin square alpha plus sin square beta is equal to 1. So here in 28 question, sin square 5x plus x is 6x plus sin square alpha is equal to 1. That means this both should be complementary. That means 6x plus lambda 90. So lambda is equal to 90 minus 6x. So <laughs> what they have given, I don't know. I think somewhere it should be some 50 or 50 plus 60. It is not 5x plus 6. I think I'm going to say 5x plus 6. 50 plus 6. Sorry. Okay. Question wrong. Sin square 50 plus x plus sin square lambda is equal to 1. That means these two are complementary. So 50 plus x plus lambda is equal to 90. So then lambda is equal to 90 minus of 50 plus x. That means lambda is equal to 90 minus 50, 40 minus x. So lambda is equal to 40 minus x option A. It is 5x plus x, you are 50 plus x, okay, print mistake. Then coming to 29th question. Cos theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. This question, exact question we have solved in grade 10. Cos theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. That means cos theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. That means cos theta is equal to sin square theta. Now what we have to find? Sin square plus sin power 4. It will be, also become 1. I will show how it will, how will become. Okay. Sin square plus sin power 4. Now sin square plus sin power 4 can be written as sin square whole square, right? Together. Now sin square is same as cos theta plus sin square cos theta overall whole square that means cos theta plus cos square theta which is given which is equal to 1 as per the given sentence okay the same question we have solved in grade 10 secant 70 sin 20 so let me convert into primary ratios primary first convert into primary ratios okay yeah no matter what you can do it like that also but let me erase this thing. Secant 70, I can write it as by cos 70, right? Because secant is reciprocal of cos. So this secant I am writing as 1 by cos minus cos 20 by cosecant 70, I can write as 1 by sin 70, right? Okay, 1 by means, see, 1 into 1 by 3 or 1 by 3, both are 1 at the same. So, instead of writing into 1 by sin 70, I have directly written as by 7, sin 70. So, now, we don't know the values of sin 20 and cos 70. That means we have to use the concept of complementary. So, what I will do is, I will keep the sin 20 as, as it is. So, I will write cos 70 as cos 90 minus 20, right? Minus cos 20. And sin 70 as sin 90 minus 20, right? So that means sin 20 by sin cos 90 minus theta is sin theta. Complementary of cos sin theta. So cos 90 minus theta is sin theta. So sin 20 minus cos 20 by cos 20. So both gets cancelled. 1 minus 1. The answer is 0. So that's what I told you. If there is minus symbol, it will become 0. If there is division symbol, it will become 1. 
so by default you can tell the answer of 31st question is option 1 0 here it will be key it will become 1 it will become 1 1 plus 1 is 2 okay sorry now this we have to do it these are complement to each other that means it will become 1 these are complement to each other you can solve it okay this will become 1 i mean these are reciprocal teacher sin 23 cos 23 will cancel that 1 you can cos to secant into reciprocal that means the value is become the value become 1 so 1 plus 1 2 by 2 the answer is 1 Okay, second, let's set the one. Option later, shut the one. Sign 20. Sign 20. Cost 70. Oh, right. Actually, uh, yeah. Sign 20. Cost 70. Atras question. Cost 70. Atras question. Sign 90. Mesh 20. Ras coach. Kada. Let me explain it very clearly. Sin 20 and cos 70. 70 I can write as cos 90 minus 20, right? Plus cos 20 and sin 70 again I can write as 90 minus 20, right? Whole divided by sin 23 into cosecant 23 is nothing but reciprocal of sin plus cos 23 secant is reciprocal of cos so both gets cancelled here also both gets cancelled sin 20 into cos 90 minus theta 90 means we have to use complementary cos 90 minus theta is sin theta that means sin 20 plus cos 20 into sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so sin square 20 plus cos square 20 so for any value sin square theta plus cos square it is always equal to 1 not there ah, 1 by 1 plus 1 1 by the whole numerator value is 1 1 by 1 plus 1 that means 1 by 2 ok that's it Again, cos 70, see here, cos 70 by sin 20. So, cos 70 I can write as sin, sorry, cos 90 minus 20, right? 70 I can write as 90 minus 20 by sin 20. Now, cos 90 minus theta, cos 90 minus theta is sin theta so this will become sin 20 by sin 20 so the answer is 1 so here the answer is 1 here also the answer is 1 minus 8 sin square 30 sin 30 is 1 by 2 sin square 30 will be 1 by 4 so 4 ones are 4 twos are so 1 plus 1 2 minus 2 the answer is 0 okay here they are asking tan pi by 4 plus theta into tan 3 pi by 4 plus theta. Let me take theta value as some 0. So then it will become tan 45 into tan 3 pi by 4 means 135. Because 3 times 45. Pi by 4 means 45, 3 times 45, 135. So tan 45 is 1. And tan 135, I can write 135 as some 180 minus 45, right? And 180 minus belongs to second quadrant. Second quadrant tan is negative because sine is positive. And whenever 180 is there, there will be no change in the name. It will become 1 into minus tan 45. So 1 into minus 1, that will become minus 1. So finally, yeah. I think 36 question is somewhat good. Cos 20 plus cos 40 plus cos 140 plus cos 160 now clearly we don't know any of the values any of the uh, values which was given here we don't know cos 20 we don't know cos 40 we don't know cos 140 and we don't know cos 160 and not even they are complementary because 20 plus 40 is 60 not they are complementary but 
if we look closely 20 and 160 will become supplementary 40 and 140 will become supplementary 180 so i'll write cost 20 as cost 20 and cost 40 as cost 40 but i'll write this cost 140 as cost 180 minus 40 right and cost 160 as cost 180 minus 20 so cost 20 plus cost 40 plus cost 180 minus whenever 180 is there there will be no change in the name so cost will become cost but 180 become 180 minus become belongs to second quadrant that means sine is positive cost is negative so minus cost 40 here also will become minus cost 20 so minus cost 20 plus cost 20 plus cost 40 minus cost 40 gets cancelled the answer is zero So, a plus b is equal to 90. That means they are supplementary. We need to find a square plus b square. Very simple. Since it is given that small a and small b, I am writing it as, uh, I am taking it as a triangle. Okay. Now, a plus b is equal to 90. a plus b is equal to 90. Sin a is equal to a. And sin b is equal to b. So, let me take angle here as a and b as here and c as here okay now since sin a is equal to a sin a means opposite by hypotenuse so opposite will be a and hypotenuse will be 1 because a is nothing but a by 1 and sin b from b you have to take opposite so it will be here so sin b is b by 1 so it will be b it will be 1 now since a c r uh, this will be become b vertex okay now this is a this is b and this is one now clearly we know that a square plus b square should be equal to hypotenuse square one square that means a square plus b square value is one now what they're asking a square plus b square the answer is one that's it and sin 90 is also one multiple correct answer and also a plus b since c is 90 a plus b will become 90 90 by 2 is 45 and tan 45 is also 1. So, option A, option C, option D, all 3 are correct. In the case, A, C 98, A total triangle 180, but A, B, 90. That means tan 90 by 2, 45. Tan 45 is 1. So, if 1 is 1, sin 91 is 1. This 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 is sin 10 minus cos 10 yeah again the first concept which we have used let me draw the graph here so 0 30 45 60 and 90 okay 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 1 okay now let me draw the graph of sin sin 0 is 0, sin 30 is 1 by 2, sin 45 is 1 by root 2, sin 60 is root 3 by 2, sin 90 is 1. And cos 0 is 1, cos 30 is uh, root 3 by 2, cos 45 is same as 1 by 2, let me draw with 1, wow. cos 60 is 1 by 2, cos 90 is 0. So, the graph of cos will be this and graph of sin will be this. Now, at 10 degrees, that means somewhere here. Clearly, which is above? Is it cos function or sin function? Very good. At 10 degrees, cos x is clearly greater than sin x. Because the purple color indicates cos x graph and the red color indicates sin x graph. Clearly, cos x is greater than sin x. That means cos x minus sin x is positive, whereas sin x minus cos x is negative. Okay. Now, 39th question. Ah, it's very simple. Tan theta plus cot theta 2 and then this one is one. Now, one of the theta is equal to 45 and sin 45 is 1 by root. Now, take this 40th question. 
sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2 plus sin theta 3 is equal to 3. Then what is the value of cos theta 1 plus cos theta 2 plus cos theta 3? I am not going with the tradition method. See. 90. In the country, 3 raw and 1 1 1 1 9 dial. And theta 1 9 dial, theta 2 9 dial, theta 3 9 dial. So if you put here 90, 90, 90, cos 90 is 0, cos 90 is 0, cos 90 is 0, cos 90 is 0, the answer is 0. Now, sin theta is equal to 1 by 2. Then what is the value of 3 cos theta minus 4 cos cube theta? Actually, the Manaki, triple angle formulas, double angle formulas no sign mara. So this is a formula for cos 3 theta. Okay. Okay. But also need per chapter on the sin 3 theta ante 4 sin cube theta minus 3 sin theta. Cos 3 theta ante 3 cos theta minus 4 cos cube theta. Okay. Good to bit kun. The triple angle formulas 3 theta, 3 theta. Here, in the first question, sin theta is 1 by 2. If sin theta is 1 by 2, what will be theta? 30 degrees. Because sin theta is equal to sin 30. If sin gets cancelled on both sides, theta is equal to 30 degrees. Now, here we need to find 3 cos theta minus 4 cos cube theta. That means cos 3 theta. So cos 90, the answer is 0. Ledu, directly substitute the value of 30 here. 3 cos 30, that means 3 into root 3 by 2 minus 4 cos cube theta. Cos cube, that means root 3 by 2 whole cube. Let me solve it. 3 root 3 by 2 minus 4 into root 3 cube, root 3 cube. Root 3 into root 3 into root 3 by 2 cube is 8. 4 1s are 4 2s are. Okay. So 3 root 3 by 2 minus root 3 root 3 3. Again 3 root 3 by 2. The answer is 0. In the coming days, you will be learning cos 3 theta and sin 3 theta formula. But uh, even though you can use any method, the answer is 0. Okay. And this is straight away 10th class question. Adjustment solve. Sin A minus B is equal to 1 by 2. 1 by 2 I can write as sin 30. Sin sin cancel. A minus B is equal to 30. And A plus B is equal to cos 60. So 2A is equal to 90. A is equal to 45. A 45 is the option. The same way you can do this question. A plus B is equal to 90. Sin 90 one. Cos 30 root 3 by 2. So A minus B is equal to 30. So, 2a is equal to 120, a is equal to 60, and b is equal to 30. The last question, 5 cos square 60, that means 5 into cos 60 is 1 by 2, 1 by 2 whole square, plus 4 into secant 30. Cos that is root 3 by 2, secant 30 will be 2 by root 3, that means square, or little bit them, square mal them. Minus tan square 40 is 1 by sin square 30, 1 by 2 whole square plus cos square 30, root 3 by 2 whole square. So sin square 30 plus cos square 30 is 1. Trigonometry identity. So no need to do all these things. 1. Ekkara matram 5 into 1 by 2 whole square is 1 by 4 plus 4 into 2 by root 3 whole square. 2 square is 4, root 3 square is 3. Minus 1 by 1. So 5 by 4 plus 16 by 3. Fifteen plus sixty four seventy nine by twelve minus one by one. So twelve on the twelve seventy nine minus twelve by twelve sixty seven by twelve is the answer. And the last question is very important. Uh, this was even asked in one of the competitive exams. Uh, cos square 1 plus cos square 2 plus cos square 3 and so on plus cos square 90. So the value before 90 is cos square 89. Cos 90 is 0. But do you know the value of cos 1? No. 
right but if you look at carefully i can write cos square 89 as cos square 90 minus 1 right and cos square 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta is sin theta so it will become sin square 1 so cos square 1 plus sin square 1 1 similarly cos square 2 plus sin square 2 cos square 88 is 1 and totally ikka total naaku 90 values nai 90 point ibudu inge enna naaku 89 andulo aa andulo cos square 45 oka value untundi idu ithi seyandi ithi seyandi that means total 88 88 by 2 is 44 so 44 plus this cos square 45 1 by 2 1 by 2 to whole square 1 by 2 so 88 plus 1 89 by 2 is the answer actually again tante cos square 1 rasamu apaka cos square 89 rasam tarvata cos square 2 rasamu apaka cos square 88 rasam ona kada plus cos square 90 manaku already zero ochindi pakkana bedesi ayandi madhulo cos square 45 idu eppudu single ga ne untundi aithe ee rendu kalipte 1 ee rendu kalipte 1 ante total ga manaki 90 values nai 90 lo idu poyindi idu poyindi inge nunna manaki 88 88 ante rendu kalipte 1 vastam kada manaki aa ante two values kalipte 1 vastam kabatti prathi two values add chesi 1 so kabatti total 88 values manaku kalipte entha vastundi naaku half chesthe entha vastundi naaku 44 endukante 88 lo manaku mottham okka value 1 kadu 88 lo two two values kalipi 1 kabatti naaku total answer entha vastundi 44 plus is cos square 45 undu kada 1 by root 2 whole square 1 by 2 solve chesthe 89 by 2 is the answer right thank you